Hello guys, you're welcome back to my YouTube channel. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the last video on my channel um, about um, SQL. Um, based on popular requests, first of all, before I go to that, <laughs> I noticed that many people are watching my video without subscribing. So if you are among those people, please, please change and subscribe to this channel if you want anything data you want to learn. Please subscribe and let us grow this community together. Um, if you don't know, my name is Omolara. Uh, I have over two years experience already in the data space. And on YouTube, I plan to start sharing my experiences, especially on SQL and every other thing that I, I feel I can also share with you. So if you like content like this, please consider subscribing to my channel and let us grow together. All right, so based on my last video, um, I noticed we also have some beginners who are just joining the channel and I would want to also carry them along on this journey. So today, as you might have seen in the title, I want to talk about how you can learn SQL in 15 days. And I can assure you that if you're very consistent, you can actually learn it in less than 15 days if you are consistent. Right. So because basically what I want to do on my channel is not basically beginner. I'm going between, because you know, you can actually know SQL and not be able to solve problem with it. So that's why I would not recommend courses like do, learn SQL in three days. You can, but I don't see them as an effective way of learning. So, because the mo most important thing is actually the problem solving, right? If you can see a problem, then interpret it and then solve. So that's why I can recommend what I've used so far and that has worked for me, right? So yeah. Um, first thing I want to talk about, some people also complained about the RDBMS I'm using. RDBMS means Relational Database Management System, right? So we have different type of RDBMS. We have the MySQL Workbench, we have the SQL Server, we have the PostgreSQL, and so many other things, right? And this different RDBMS, it's just a little bit of different dialects here and there, right? So, for example, this is my own, this is my own workbench. This is an example of an RDBMS. This is my, me, for myself, I use my SQL workbench. I also have PostgreSQL. So for my SQL workbench, it basically used something like the, um, how do I put it now? It used something like the MySQL itself. And this workbench is just like a GUI. So you use MySQL to actually connect your database. So this workbench is just like a GUI that we can interact with. Same with PostgreSQL. I have um, PostgreSQL here. Let me open and then you'll see. So this is my PostgreSQL. So basically, if you want to see, you can see this is PG admin. It's called management tool for PostgreSQL. So this is just like a tool that you use to connect your PostgreSQL. So this is also an example of a platform. It's just a database management system that you can use to write your SQL code. So all of these things just have different, a little bit of different dialects, they're almost similar, but that's what they call it, SQL dialect. So for example, if I'm on, so let me show you like a basic difference, right? So this is my own workbench and that's what I'm used to, all because it's something I've been using for a while to get. So, if I want to do like, let's say I want to select select um, star from, I'm just gonna put any table from let's say address. For my workbench, if I want to do like a top five selection, I have to do like, so let's start from this address table and do like put a limit of five. This is what my SQL we use. But if I want to do on PostgreSQL, it could be, I'm just gonna do select, I can put top five from this address table. Can you see? So this is like a, one dialect, this is another dialect. Both of them are still SQL query, but just that I'm using different RDBMS to write my query. So it depends on which one is available, which one is, because if you go to different companies, you can have different types. Some people use this Oracle, some people use it at SQL Server, you know, so it's different options. So you should, the most important thing is to just know how to relate with each of those functions and syntaxes. And that's the most important thing. 
So if you want to learn out, probably you're just starting out and you want to learn how to install any of this um, databases. And I, I would say that I think MySQL Workbench is like one of the easiest one to actually install on your local computer. Computer. So I'm going to go online and attach to this video a link to where you can set up MySQL um, Workbench or whatever workbench you want to set up. So I'm going to attach that link to this video. So that's said and done now that you know how to download your servers. So let's go to how can you learn SQL in just 15 days? So the first thing I recommend, when I wanted to start my, um, what's it called, my journey into data analysis, where I started from was w3schools.com. I'm also gonna put the link to my video description, w3schools.com. So, okay, I'm just going to open a new one. So www.w3schools.com. So, and then I'll click on SQL. So with this, I remember that I finished this part in just one day. I finished it in one day. <laughs> All of these things, I finished it in a day. So it will teach you everything you need to actually know by SQL. The introduction, your syntax, your select, your select distinct, everything you need to know. And you have opportunity to also try it yourself. Yeah. So you see, it's like, okay, select this thing from country, um, select this thing country from customer. And then you can also run it. So you can do like a test run on um, W3. <coughs> Sorry. So you can do like a test on W3 schools, right? Sorry about that. On W3 schools. So it's like one of the easiest places to learn, to learn um, SQL. So with these, like you can learn everything you want to learn, like the basis, your wear clause, your other buy your and or not everything that you need to learn on SQL, like the basis. If you're very consistent and you're very serious, let me give you a maximum of just say one week. It's about too much because now I'm talking about 15 days. So it depends on how fast you really want to learn it. But when I did mine, I learned all of this things, like everything here in just one day during my IT. So yeah, the first one is W3 school. So after you're done with the, this is why you have to do W3 schools is to give you like a basis of SQL. Because knowing this doesn't guarantee that you cannot write SQL if you start seeing problems. So do all of this. After you're done with W3 schools, now there's a course. There's a course I would want to recommend. This is not a paid for, um, this is not like a, um, a paid partnership, but this is like a very good course I have done on Udemy. Like, like it, it's, like one of the best course I've actually seen. It's, I'm not paid to do this. <laughs> I'm just saying like, this is a well-structured 15 days of SQL. It's a complete masterclass and it's even a 2024 course. It's a complete masterclass course. If you can do this course, I can guarantee you, this is like tested and trusted. 15 days of SQL, the complete SQL masterclass, 2024. Like you're gonna do everything Different dialects of SQL. Can you see how to install Postgre? Um, everything, everything that you need to know. So let me show you like the breakdown. The, so it's like each, each and every day. So it's well structured. Day one, you do getting started with SQL. Day two, basic field train. Day three, grouping. Day four, intermediate function. So you move from beginner to advanced. Um, day six, you do intermediate join. Seven, advanced unions and sub query. Day eight advanced course project, the nine advanced managing tables and databases, the 10 views, very important. The 11, you learn window functions, very, very, very important. The 12, you learn grouping sets, roll-ups and self-joins. The 13, you do a pro, there's also course project, right? The 14, you do stop procedures, very, very important. The 15, then you do um, indexes partitioning. Partitioning is very, very, very important, you know. Um, uh, section six is 16 is cities, common table expression. Very, very detailed video. So you have bonus if you want. <laughs> so all of these things are very, very, very. I can assure you that before you finish these about 15, 16 days of 
um, SQL, like you would become a pro. This is a course project, the project introduction, the challenge. And then you get like very, very detailed. You have problem that you can solve. And I can assure you that before you finish all of these things, you will be very, very good. If you can commit like one hour of your day to learning it, you'll be good with it. Consistency, anyways. So your consistency also matters. So if you can do this, I can assure you that you are going to be fine. So after doing this, if you can finish this 15 days and then you cannot start solving problems, like for example, you can go to like Aka Rank or Lit Code to start solving like real world problems. And I can assure you that you can learn everything about SQL in a day. In my, in my role as a data migration specialist, there are some things that I do not even know and I, I, I was using them on my job. So it wasn't like I had a previous, a previous experience or any of this. Like I mean, one of them is actually um, indexing. Like if you're trying to query a particular database and it's taking a, long, a longer time, if you, if, you, if you try to implement some indexes, it can actually increase uh, the efficiency of your query. So it was my previous role I learned how to actually do indexing. It wasn't like something that I've always done before even in my experience as a data engineer. So it's important that you, you give yourself um, that opportunity to learn, to continually learn. But even for those that are even advanced in SQL, this course is a very, very good course for you to learn. But I hope that you have gotten one or two things. And I'm also gonna put a link of this course in my video description in case you want to um, do the course. It's actually very cheap. It's not expensive and it's a very, very good cost. So yeah, with that said and done, I hope that this video is going to help beginner. Another video on a real world project using SQL is gonna be coming up soon. I hope that you also enjoy um, watching that. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more um, relational, uh, I said relational, for more content on data analysis, basically everything data. Uh, and I hope that my video on what's it called on the real world data set again is ready anytime from now so thank you for watching i hope this video helps you i'll see you another time bye